Hello, thanks for joining us. The North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, has warned that he may change his approach to relations with the United States if it maintains sanctions against the country. In his New Year message, Mr Kim said that he was still committed to ridding the Korean peninsula of nuclear weapons, but he added that North Korea would seek a new path if the US misjudged its patience and insisted on unilateral demands. Here's our sole correspondent, Laura Bicker. This new year offers a tantalising prospect for South Koreans. For decades, this nation, technically still at war with its neighbour, has simply longed for peace. But a year of talks between North and South and the United States has meant some are now daring to hope. Could 2019 be the year that dream is achieved? I think because of the atmosphere, Kim Jong-un is hesitant right now. But I hope he comes and meets with our president and tour around Seoul. In 2019, I hope North and South relations improve and we form a closer relationship. Just a few miles away, Pyongyang celebrated the new year with more than its usual flair. A glitzy midnight show, despite being under strict economic sanctions. The North's leader, Kim Jong-un, was also upbeat and rewarded those watching his speech from Washington and Seoul by renewing his commitment to denuclearization. We have proclaimed that we will no longer make nuclear weapons. We will not use them or spread them. But then came the warning. I am always ready to sit down again with the U.S. president at any time and will make efforts to produce an outcome that the international community would welcome. However, if the U.S. miscalculates our people's patience, forces something upon us, and pursues sanctions and pressure without keeping a promise made in front of the world, we have no option but to explore a new path in order to protect our sovereignty and achieve peace in the Korean Peninsula. The deal reached in Singapore in June was so vague that neither side can agree on what was agreed. North Korea believes it has held up its side of the bargain by not testing any new missiles and destroying one test site. But since then, talks have stalled between the two sides. There's also a fear in South Korea that its main ally, the US, may now stand in the way of progress with the North. In his speech, Kim Jong-un pointed to the hope and optimism in both South and North Korea that they can forge a path towards peace. His message to the United States is we can have that relationship too, but the ball is now in the Trump administration's court. And unless they act, well, 2019 might not be as peaceful as everyone here hopes. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Gangnam.